I'm on the road to Viridian City. I don't, even, I don't even remember how the rest of that song goes, but welcome back everyone. Last time on Pokemon, let's go Pikachu. We started this series off and made it to Viridian City, headed back, and made it back to Viridian City. Right now, Trace is willing to greet us. Huh, Lily please about something nice. Oh, you beat another trainer, and good job. Because we're on the topic, your Pokemon in the battle might have lost some HP or PP. Taking the Pokemon Center and they'll get healed up. It doesn't cost any money, it doesn't take long at all either. We already went over that last time, but just remember, heal up after battles. I mean, you're the one that should be most aware of how important that is because we were the victor of our battle. But yes, as Trey said, we will go heal up. I always like to make sure my team is fully healed and ready for battles. Always good to have my team ready. Two, three, four, five, six. I do love how the thing, like, spazzes out in the back. I do love that. Thank you for looking people feeling all better now. Hope to see you again. Thank you very much, Nurse Joy. Pokemon Center Lady. Pokemon Center Lady. But, yeah. I also just realized for a long time we're not actually going to have any other member of the team. <laughs> Because of the way that I have my team laid out, <laughs> it's pretty much just going to be Pikachu for a long time. <laughs> I might not have thought things through. I might not have thought things through very well. I may need to make some changes to the team if problems do persist. But yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely... Oh, right, dude, you actually need to catch a grass type before doing anything. But yeah, we have just bypassed that entire route. Nothing really necessary for that. But. Here we are in Viridian Forest. I'm on the road to Viridian Forest. And yes, you can find other Pikachu. Also, one detail. As you noticed, Pikachu's tail was wagging very aggressively as we moved closer to that Pokeball. Why? Because your Pokemon are able to detect items. Their tail will waggle more aggressively the closer you get to a Pokeball. Oh, not a Pokeball, an item. Yeah. It's a very nice detail. Growing up some levels, very good. The reason why I'm going to be catching Pikachu is it'll become apparent later. But this is not going to be replacing our partner, Pikachu. Yeah, I, uh, I need to have... There we go. Those are the particle effects I was mentioning before. Those are either extra large or extra small variants of Pokemon. They typically will have differing and better IVs. See, it says it's huge. Red means it's larger than average. Blue means it is smaller than average. You also have to time your attack, and also it's not just simply shake the controller when the thing gets low enough. You do actually need to put some force behind it, or it will not go all the way, as you just saw right there. Messed up twice, but got it on the third one. And there's a catch. We caught another Pikachu. Da, 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 da. There we go. Got a Pikachu. Yep. Catch combo. Catch combo really doesn't do all that much. Um, I will go into that a little bit later as there is something involving it. But we have a battle. And let's go and get some stuff. We are challenged by Bug Catcher Brian. So he is a Weedle! Let's see what we can do with this. Let's go with a Thunder Shock. But yeah, I am I actually do think I need to actually redo my uh, team. So I, I had the entire team actually planned out for this lineup. And I am thinking definitely it does need a bit of an overhaul for it because I just realized, yeah. That's gonna be late game, that's gonna be late game, that's gonna be late game. It's gonna basically be Pikachu the entire game. Like, it's gonna be for a long time. <laughs> Not gonna really want that. 
So, I will be looking for a potential replacement for the team Ooh, item. Pokeball. Give me a thing. Thank you. We got five Pokeballs. So. Yep. You have a big Pikachu, huh? Oh! She's a trainer. Right. Do, 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 do. Lass Jonah. Get her Rattata. See, I mean, that's part of the reason why I am thinking about, uh, yeah, not just having Pikachu be the only thing for a very long time. Because it will get a bit monotonous. But, eh, it could be fun. I mean, I will... I, I'm probably going to have to go figure something out because I need to figure out a better plan for the future. So I will make a little bit of a cut here on an inconspicuous, unnoticeable cut. Now, while I was training and catching some things for, as you will see in a little bit, Pikachu wanted to learn Double Kick. And, yeah, I think this might be a very worthwhile move to get considering we only have, what, two status moves that are not going to be very useful. I'll take it. What am I trying to get right now? Well, you guys will see in a little bit. That's a little bit of a surprise. So I, I guess now, I guess, I guess it's a little obvious what I'm going to be doing. What I am doing is the catch combo system. Catch combo system allows you to find so-called rare spawns. These are Pokemon that are normally very, very difficult to find, and actually in normal cases will not appear in the overworld unless you satisfy very specific criteria. That is, for a rare spawn to appear normally without using any items, as there is an item that will make it possible to find them without having to do this, is you have to get a catch combo. You can find them normally in the overworld, however they are incredibly rare. If you have a catch combo of 1 to 5 as a catch combo, the odds of finding it will be doubled. If you have a catch combo of 5 to 10, it will be triple odds of finding it. If you have 10 through 20 as a catch combo, it will be four times more likely to be found. And if you get 30 or more as a catch combo, it'll be six times as likely to appear. Yeah. The same applies, of course, for if you have 21 through 30, for it'd be five times. So there is that. But it will cap out at 31. So, and there is definitely something here that I would very much like to add to my team. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what that is. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I actually gotta go, uh, as this is actually the day I'm gonna be streaming Mystery Dungeon again. So, uh, you guys know when this was recorded. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> Now, your chain of catches is not just, okay, run away from Pokemon and just keep catching the thing. If, I believe you run away from a Pokemon that will break your chain, if you fail to catch a Pokemon that will also break your chain. So be aware of that. Be very careful when encountering Pokemon if you are. And uh, also, like, let me know if you guys are gonna also like playing along with me if you, you guys are playing this as well. I've played this game before, I mean, it's kind of funny that this is, like, the first game I've played in a very long time that is not blind for the channel. And, uh, considering how many blind games we've done for the channel in the last, like, year? I think, yeah, pretty much every game we've done in the, the last year has actually been me playing a game blind for the first time. I, wow. I'm, well, no, no, cha no champions. We, we, I, I knew champions, right? It's not, not, not last year. Gosh, I'm an idiot. There it is. There is the Bulbasaur. That's what I was looking for. The rare spawn of Viridian Forest is Bulbasaur, and I would very much love to add this to my team. Excellent throw. Give me my Bulbasaur, please. Two, three. And 
there's a catch. We got ourselves a Bulbasaur. I'm a very big fan of it. I quite like it. And I also did leave our starter out of the teams, that way it just wouldn't grow levels infinitely. I didn't want to just grow to ridiculously level proportions. But yes, there we go. Bulbasaur's data will be added to the Pokedex. You can go for days without eating a single morsel, but Bulbasaur on its back stores energy. Oh, well, we got a, an above average little Bulbasaur, a little two, little 16 pounds of cabbage. There we go. Bulbasaur has been tucked away in our store. So let's go pull out our Bulbasaur and see what the little boy, the uh, little boy's got. Add to the party. Swap it out for that. Remove. 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 I, the reason I had a full team was just so that way when catching all of the Weedle, I didn't over-level Char- uh, I didn't over-level the Pikachu. But, there we go. Um, doing a chain catch was... It was, it was good. But yeah, we have now acquired a Bulbasaur. Very much I'm happy. Uh, it's actually kind of funny that, uh, many... A few years ago, when I was playing this and actually completing the Pokedex, I found a shiny Weedle in the Viridian Forest. While... I don't even remember what it was. It was probably either completing the Pokedex... Well, no, no. It was looking for the correct Weedle to use for the Master Trainers, which then we'll get into a lot later. But basically it was, I was doing a bunch of catches to try and get a Bulbasaur, that, uh, not a Bulbasaur, a Weedle for usage in a mechanic we will be going into much later. And I just stumbled on a shiny Weedle. The good thing is, is that it actually has the right nature I was looking for, so I got like a good nature shiny Beedrill. So I was actually really happy about that. But we got a little bubble so a little let's call it a bubble sore. No. <laughs> bubble sore, yes. The bubblegum Pokemon bubble sore. <laughs> my brain's a potato. My brain is a potato and my back has a cabbage. <laughs> I do like the, I, I do like Bulbasaur. I do like Bulbasaur. <laughs> And Bulbasaur's first takedown of the entire game. Already out to a good start, little Bulbasaur. He defeated Bug Catcher Rick. No, Caterpie can't egg it. No. The Caterpie has been defeated. But that was good. Ah, uh, item, 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 item. We required three raspberries, replenishing our stocks. And then some. Actually, wait. Can we, can we have you following us? Yes! Bulbasaur can follow alongside us now. See? Look how happy it is! Look how happy Bulbasaur is! Bulbasaur is sunbathing. It looks very comfortable. I love it. I love how happy Bulbasaur is. It's a happy little bulb. It was like, come by the aroma of grass. Like, there's a lot of things about this game that are not great. But, just the interactions with the Pokemon make it worth it. <laughs> and you know, Bulbasaur will be in this forest. I mean, it's almost like I don't have a Bulbasaur on my team with me right now. They're challenged by the rest. I wasn't expecting to see that around here. I mean, I don't... I don't think you can see them by this point in the game. You... Maybe you can? I don't know. I don't know, I guess. I mean, I've, I've rarely played the Kanto games, so I don't really know the location of where everything is, and I know that this game is like, actually heavily rearranged the encounter locations for where Pokémon are. It's a little bit of a problem. 
because you can't really use that, that kind of information to essentially go and inform decision making. But, I mean, it's something. I, I, my feelings overall in this game and how I feel that they relate to the other Kanto games, I will be saving those for the end of the series because I do have some, I will say at bare minimum, controversial opinions about this game in terms of positive. Yeah, it... I have a complicated, we we'll just say complicated relationship with the Kanto games, so this one is a bit more on the side of something I can talk about a lot more. A bit strange, but hey. Also, uh, the rare spawn encounters, uh, there is actually odds that we can go over for what they are. The catch combo base. Base odds are 1 point, or 0.5% chance of encountering. Second level is, see, there are multiple places that say, you know, here's the different ways of getting rare spawns. All of them are different, so I don't really know which one to trust. But, uh, oh yeah, there's nothing, there actually is nothing around here. Wait, see, if we talked to you when we have a Bulbasaur, do you say anything special? From a friend who saw Bulbasaur around here, I was mentioning the Pokedex, so I don't wonder if it's true. Really? We are literally standing right in front of you and with a Bulbasaur, and you doubt the existence. Ah, Kanto people are blockheads. <laughs>